Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up a chroma key with the Rodecaster video. But before we start, let's take a look at what it is and what it can be used for. Chroma keying is a technique for separating a subject from their background, so you can swap in a different background behind them. The most common method for this is to film your subject in front of a solid block of color, usually green or blue. If you've heard the phrase green screen, this is what it's talking about. Software or equipment like the Rodecaster video looks for these colors and replaces them with a transparent layer, essentially removing the green or blue screen to replace with a new background. The new background can be a static image, like a fancy office for your video calls when you're working from home, a video file, or even a live video input from another camera. While most keyers require fiddling with a bunch of settings to match the right hue of your screen and set up your keying parameters, the Rodecaster video is quite unique here, as it does all this completely automatically. Now let's take a look at how to use chroma keying with the Rodecaster video. First, directly on the unit, and then using the Rode Central Companion software. To start, select the input you want to apply the key to, the one with the camera pointing to your green or blue screen. We've got it on four. Hey, Heen. Hi, Stevie. If you're in Insta mode, the key will apply to your live program feed. But if you're in studio mode, it will apply to your preview feed. For this video, we're going to work in instant mode. Next, press the key function button here and use the encoder or the on-screen arrows to toggle between green screen or blue screen, like that. Once you've chosen, your next step is to select a new background. For the background, you can either choose one of the other inputs by simply pressing another input button like this, or you can choose an image or video in your media library by tapping the media function button and selecting your media here. Once you've assigned the background to your keyed input, the Rodecaster video will remember this and use this configuration whenever you switch to the input or use it in a scene. If you'd like to use your keyed input in a scene, simply tap transparent. Now when building a scene, simply add this input to one of the frames and it will still have that transparent background. For more info on building and using scenes, check out the video linked in the description. Now, once you've applied a key, it'll remain tied to that input until you remove it. To do this, or to choose a new background, select your keyed input again. Press the key function button, and then tap remove or modify. And that's it, you're ready to use your keyed input. To start, you'll need to make sure your Rodecaster video is on the same network as your computer, either via Wi-Fi or Ethernet, or connected directly via USB 2. Then, open Rode Central and head to the Scene Builder. Click on the input button that has the camera assigned to it that's pointed at your green or blue screen. Then click on the key drop-down on the right here. Click the chroma toggle to apply the key. And then choose either green or blue screen. Below that, click the background drop-down and choose either another input, media, or select transparent if you want to use your keyed input in a scene. You can also drag images and video files here directly from your media library. At the bottom here, you'll see this advanced toggle. Now, the Rodecaster video's default keying settings are optimized to perform in the widest range of situations possible. But if you want to fine-tune your key, here's where you can do so. And that's it. As you can see, the Rodecaster video makes setting up and using a chroma key incredibly simple. 